Our next guests are the founders of Style No Chaser, an online magazine that serves fashion straight up. Uh oh, I like that. Straight up. <laughs> straight up. We're here Not to tell us all about it. Straight, straight up. up. Yeah. Here to tell us all about it are the founders, Gio Hagen and Ben Ferrari. Welcome to the show, guys. Thank you. Thank Thanks you. We're so happy much. to be here. All right. So, how do we get this party started? Let's talk about your personal style and what made you all decide to start a site like this. Um, I would say we just noticed that there was a void in the menswear space. Mm -hmm. uh, we noticed a movement of streetwear, sophistic sophisticated streetwear, yeah. and more tailored um, sort of Fifth Ave upscale style, like all coming together. Yeah. And there was no site online that was really addressing that. Mm -hmm. So um, we decided to create a beautiful space where people can come and see the convergence of those two worlds. And the second thing as well was that we noticed that you could be the best dressed man in your city, but what else do you do? Um, so we take a holistic lifestyle approach. What kind of art are you into? Um, where do you go to eat? Mm -hmm. um, what home decor, dining, all that stuff. So we decided to put all that in a beautiful um, online space for everybody to enjoy. Oh, so like Ben, what's, the, what's behind the catchy titles, <laughs> Style Straight Up? Uh, style No, no Chaser, Chaser. Geo yeah. came up with that. That uh, was, uh, you know, it was kind of just the idea of being a pure kind of straight shot right. as opposed to, Watered I guess, down, anything else. Diluted, yeah. yeah. And, um, and just also to create something very colorful, too. Mm -hmm. That uh, I think to add to that, too, is um, there's a quote that anything that's trendy is one step away from being tacky. Ooh. So we look for what's next, like, instead of, like, what's, like, so now. So no chaser also embodies that. Like we don't chase like necessarily what's on the streets right now. We want to see like what's the next wave. Okay. So who is the quintessential style no chaser man? Ooh, that's a good one. I um, think it's, it's that's it's, why it's, I it's asked everybody. It. <laughs> <laughs> that's why I'm here, Gio. <laughs> that's a great one. I don't think it's just one person. I think it's kind of like a circus okay. style no chaser. You know, there's all sorts of places to just get lost in on the site. Well, it's present not... company excluded. Clearly, Shannon's getting it right. But <laughs> who else well is getting it right out there? Uh, Gio, you can respond to that. I so think I um, one of the people we featured on our site who really embodies what we do, it's a model named Brendan Fallis. Mm. And um, he just has that look. Like, you could see him in his... A big part of our whole vibe is downtown New York City. Mm -hmm, yeah. and, and he embodies that vibe at the same time, too. Like, he will do ads for a more upscale brand. And I think that's exactly what it is. You can have a Brioni suit, but at the same time, on the weekend, you're rocking like Supreme and um, Adidas like three stripe sneakers. Yeah. Like, and that symbolizes your motto. It says style is your personal art. So what does that mean to each of you? And what if you don't have any type of art skills? <laughs> Um, I don't know, you know, you only have so much, in New York, you're, you're walking around with your head down all over the place, mm -hmm. constantly. Um, and you only have so many opportunities, I think, to communicate who you are to the people around you. I think that's where, like, you know, your personal style, your clothing, um, it's probably why pe so many people wear black in New York City, because they're trying to <laughs> disengage, yeah. you know what I mean? And I think so, one thing, too, is you shouldn't be afraid to have a style icon. Hmm. I mean, it's like, let's say you see someone who's a celeb or someone who's a singer, it's, it's not bad to like sort of take that as your starting point. Right. And then when you get into that, then you start to see like different things that sort of like fit your whole vibe. So gotcha. who are your style icons yeah. then? Uh, I don't know. Yeah. Who's my style icon? Uh, I, I would say... Gia. Um, I would say I'm going to go with Gia. Gia. <laughs> <laughs> That's a good choice. Good choice. That's too I'm just, easy. I'm him and uh, ask him what to do. Um, one of mine is Stefano Pilati. Um, oh, that's who's, a good one. Yeah, mm -hmm. I just love the way he mixes like everything up, and um, when it, it comes with down, color very well. Absolutely. Mm -hmm. yeah. And I think he's also very good at wearing like a beard, and that's I'm always struggling with my beard and trying to make it look excellent. Mm -hmm. And he does it the right way. You pulled it off. Thank you very much. Yeah. And um, there's another brand called Fear of God that's based out of LA. And the designer behind that is also really good at mixing. I think it's all about mixing vintage pieces mm -hmm. with what's like the next wave as well, because the classics will never die. That's true. No matter what, like a guy can't. One thing we sort of try to stay away from on our side is people peacocking, is the term we use. Explain that. Peacock. Peacocking is like, you see it a lot at the fashion shows that happen in New York City. Is, mm -hmm. They try so hard to maybe wear like maybe a bow tie and like a vest and like 
oh, all these yeah, things yeah. at the same time. And I'm like, you know, it's fine. Like, I mean, you know, I live and let live. Like, let everybody do whatever they want to do with their style. But it gets to a point that it's just too much. I hear you. You know what I mean? I think yeah. so. It's like you do whatever you want, but also have a little bit of like, you know, you tone it down, yeah. wear one statement piece. Practice some restraint. Practice there some restraint. Go. It's yes. always good. I like that whole thing about when you look at yourself in the mirror, take one thing off. Before you leave the Before house. Before you leave the house. Yes. Because you might have one accessory that's just like hanging on for no reason. Just too much. <laughs> too much. much. Just okay. like let it go. Okay, so I know you don't like the word trendy, but what trends can we expect to see in 2015? What should Shannon be buying for the yes. new year? Help me out, please. <laughs> I see the invasion of um, the Japanese menswear scene is really oh, yeah. amazing right now. There's brands like Visvim, there's brands like Blue Blue, there's um, amazing store called Beams. And what the Japanese are great at is like they're actually good at doing Americana better than us. That's very true. Because they mine into like what was happening like maybe in the 60s, 50s and then they sort of give it a tweak and make it modern. Yeah. So I think a lot of like the Japanese menswear is going to continue and at the same time I think the merger of streetwear and upscale is going to keep on going because the world is flat right now. Mm -hmm. You know what I mean the the guy who's hanging out like maybe in Harlem is hanging out in Soho or whatever. He's the same guy also hanging out in like the rooftop um, bougie spot uptown. So it's That's it's all together. True. So mm -hmm that's going to continue. You've got a lot right. of trickle up and trickle down. Trickle up mm -hmm. and trickle down. Yeah. You know mm -hmm. what I mean? All right. All so right. can we expect anything new from the website? Uh, Every day? Yeah, for sure. We're, yeah. we're just kind of Daily growing as, you know, as, as fast as we possibly can. But we're trying to do a print magazine maybe next year. Okay. We'll look out for that. That's oh, we'll fantastic. definitely be on the And your board. Instagram page is also a must. Yeah, so. shout out to Tony for shout doing Shout out to Tony. Our, Tony third our third partner okay. is like, he's a beast on Instagram. Yeah. <laughs> because, I mean, honestly, like the way it is now is the whole world is a picture book. Yep. Mm. You know what I mean? You get inspiration from so many different places. And I think... Uh, uh, just the visual says so many things. Yeah. All right. So our Instagram is definitely, we focus on that a lot. Well, thank you for All keeping right. us in style, guys. Yeah. We appreciate Thanks, you. Thank you. Thanks for having us. Start a site for women. There you go. All right. That's the yeah, next we'll step. We'll definitely right do back. that. I'm just saying. Right? Entertainment 360, these two. <laughs> <laughs> for women.